Emmanuel Macron's decision to impose a nationwide lockdown in the face of a third wave of COVID-19 will clobber France's economy to the tune of more than £9 billion a month, his own finance minister has admitted, and Bruno Le Maire has urged Brussels to speed up the implementation of its own economic stimulus plan, or risk the EU being left in the dust by the USA and China. France's president on Wednesday confirmed the drastic new measures, which include a requirement for schools to close for three weeks, as he sought to prevent hospitals being overwhelmed. He said, these measures will impact economic growth in 2021. We are in the process of assessing it. There will be a new evaluation in the coming days. The new lockdown measures will force the temporary closure of 150,000 businesses at a cost of £9.4 billion, billion euros, per month, Mr. Le Maire added. Bank of France Governor François Villeroy de Galhau said yesterday he did not expect the new restrictions to have an impact on the bank's forecast of 5.5% growth in 2021, provided the restrictions do not last beyond early May. France reported more than 50,000 new COVID-19 infections on Thursday and 308 deaths, while the number of people in intensive care units jumped to 5,109. Mr. Le Maire also repeated calls for the European Union to accelerate the implementation of its economic stimulus plan, referring to the £677 million coronavirus rescue package agreed last year. He warned, Europe must understand that we must move fast and that the stimulus funds promised to European citizens must now arrive in member states. In 2022 or 2023 it will be too late. The Chinese and the Americans will be ahead of us. Though the 27-nation bloc agreed the landmark stimulus fund last summer, EU governments are still submitting detailed plans on how they aim to spend money from the fund, which many still need to ratify. During his address, Mr. Macron suggested France was facing a new situation, and also appeared to blame the UK, with the rise in cases likely the result of the coronavirus variant which emerged in Kent. He said, in fact, from the first days of the month, we are now in a race. On one hand with the deployment of vaccinations which we're hoping we will be able to get out us of the crisis and ill come back to that.